Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you about eight photography accessories that you need as a beginner. The item that you will need as a beginner photographer or filmmaker is a GoPro. I use a GoPro for all my POVs. It's the best thing that I've probably used before uh, because what's the point of having a second camera with you when you can take a GoPro? And also GoPros are then actual cameras. SLRs so if you have a GoPro on you then it's just more it's smaller it's easier to take with you you can put in your bag and it's just waterproof as well then you've got the second part of the GoPro which is the chest mount but the chest mount is just literally you put attach it to your chest it just gives you like a, a wide view of what you're taking photos of I use it a lot for my POVs uh, it's very good and it's easy to put in your bag as well so it's a very useful thing it comes with GoPro accessories if it doesn't then you can order it on Amazon. A very useful thing to have. I have a chest mount and I also have the head strap which is very very useful as well. Next is a SD card holder. Uh, I hadn't had an SD card holder for a while and it was a very useful thing to, to have um, because it's just a way of keeping all your SD cards together in one place and also you don't have to keep looking for your bag trying to find an SD card when you can just put this up. All your SD cards are here and it's just a better place to be more organised especially if you're on a shoot with a model and you need to access an SD card quick because one is full. Yeah, SD card holder, I got this off Amazon. It was fairly cheap. Next we have this tripod called the Pixie Mini Tripod and um, a lot of YouTubers use it for their vlogs. It's very accessible, like able, it opens up like this, which is quite cool. Use it just to hold the camera like this when I'm vlogging. This is another item that is very, very useful to have, especially if you're vlogging. I think, it, I believe it can take a weight off the camera I'm recording with right now, the 77D and also uh, mirrorless cameras. But you're gonna have to research into it if it's um, a certain weight or it goes over, because I think this can topple over if it's got too much weight on it. So yeah, it's called a Manfrotto, is it focused? The Manfrotto tripod. I have the video mic, a uh, very, very good mic to use. I used it quite a lot, but now I use uh, my I use my wireless Go, which is very, very useful. It's, it's wireless. So I just attach it to the top of my camera and then I attach it to a lapel mic. And um, yeah, I'm just good to go. But before that, I used this. Um, it was very, very useful. Uh, very, very good sound playback. And um, I'd recommend this. So the next item I'd suggest is this accessory. So this accessory is just a cleaning kit for your cameras. I recommend a cleaning kit um, for, for all those beginners and I'll start because that's a central part of probably equipment you want to use. This is a hard, this is a hard drive. So this is a hard drive um, that I use. I put all my videos and my photos on it. This is one terabyte. I'm a got one now, there's four terabytes, but this is a central part of kit that you should have. Um, this is where you store your photos and your videos. This is a hard drive for your photos and your videos. So it's easily accessible. I'd make sure that if you have a hard drive, to have another hard drive um, backed up or like a, a small memory or somewhere where you have some footage saved just in case um, your files get corrupted or you lose your, your hard drive somewhere, you always have a backup. So that's one thing that I had to learn. You make sure that you have your footage backed up somewhere, your photos backed up somewhere, your videos backed up somewhere on multiple backups, like a USB stick, a memory card, USB hard drive. Now, last but not least, the last thing I've, I think I bought recently is this thing here, which is the, is a light, a Zulanzi light. Um, which I bought off Amazon was um, uh, you can use it for a lot of self-portrait images um, you can use it for to light a scene if you want not a massive scene but like say if you are in a dark environment this may be could like a room or probably like the whole room but it's quite bright it's quite a bright light I'm very surprised that when I bought it I'm extremely good it's small so it means that you can take it with you and you can put it on top of your camera as well which is a good thing it's just a you can charge it for chargeable as well and yeah it's just it's just a very good light to have the body um, and uh, yeah, i'd recommend it to anyone to, to buy it and to ex you can experiment with it it's got different colors it's got purple it's got green i think purple green it's got white um it's got orange as well which is really really good so yeah this is the, the light this is the light mini led video light that's what it is so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Drop a like, drop a subscribe, stay safe, stay creative.
and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.